What is the best or worst excuse you ever gave for missing an assignment? Well, the worst excuse I ever gave was I was out of an English class for about a week, and uh, I had a paper due, and I told my teacher I had a herniated stomach, and I couldn't come to class. My parents were having marrow, marrow disputes. It was like, yeah, can I get out of class because I farted, and I didn't want anyone to think it was me. Jay's mom ate my homework. My dog actually ate my homework. I brought it in, the dog pulled my mat through the crate, and it was all shredded and I brought it in in a little bag and showed my teacher. It was a map of Canada and I was like, look, there's Montreal. You can see it in the rip. My mother threw it away by mistake. All lack imagination. That I ate it for dinner with spaghetti sauce. A funeral that I couldn't make school. That I had to uh, fly out to the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota because my father had just gotten deathly ill and I, had to, and I had to make sure he was everything was okay and his critical, uh, critical condition was uh, changed to stable. What's the worst excuse you were ever given by a student who wasn't going to turn his assignment in on time? Um, a student told me that his whole family had been killed in uh, an automobile accident a week prior to this time. They all lack imagination. Actually, they're not even excuses. They're explanations. Students work, they're very busy, they just don't get to it, and they tell me that. The other thing is, though, that instead of the dog ate my homework, I think the most common excuse I hear now is I had trouble with my computer printer. Car breaks down or the bus doesn't show up on time. Um, also, there's illness, there's family uh, problems. Uh, uh, when I went to school, let's see, um, all I did was go to school and live in a dormitory. So I had very few problems and no excuses when it came to uh, handing in papers. Um, a relative died. Grandmothers die a lot before exams. Okay, well, the worst, ago, worst excuse is the fishiest excuse, and it is, my grandmother just died. Uh, uh, it's turning cool, it's almost October, and midterms are coming, or the first hourly, and Route 202 is going to be littered with grannies from Doylestown to Norristown, all right? And people, th you see, it's a funny, it's never the grandfather, it's always the grandmother. If you're, it's not like my mother died. If your mother dies, you'll be distraught, all right? But it's not like your great uncle died. That doesn't mean anything to you. So it's sort of medium. It's just it's like Goldilocks and porridge. It's just about enough of a lie to get you an extension. Hey, Jackie, are you good at thinking fast?